hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so in today's video this is your this video is for 2024 students who are doing their c sec exams so if you're interested just like comment share and subscribe and let's get right into it so this is how to prepare for your cxc exams in 2024 so let's get right into it So my number one tip for students who are doing their exams in 2024 is for them to start studying early. At this point, it's really a matter of getting the knowledge down, right? So I don't know if this batch of students know what happened in 2020 and 2021. But what happened was that in 2020, only paper ones were administered to CXE students. And in 2021, broad topics were given. So although the 2021 students did um, paper ones and paper twos, the paper two broad topics were given to the 2021 students. Now guys, my advice or my tip for 2024 students is to start studying early. So the thing is that students who did their exams in 2020 and 2021 got lucky especially the students who did their exams in 2020 they got extremely lucky and they were only able to do paper one no i also did i did two of my cxc exams in um 2020 so i did my social studies and my english language um exam cxc exams in 2020 at the time no i got lucky that year for doing those two subjects um in that year and you know in 2021 i did my other nine subjects yes i did my other nine subjects in 2021 now the whole issue or topic about those raw topics that were given back then was that um in a sense the broad topics may or may not have helped if you get on me especially the topics from math those topics they really make no sense it's basically the same thing as how the other students over the previous years were given. So it doesn't really make much sense. But either way, my advice to you guys, start studying early. Because you're going to need to write something on those paper 2 exams. For the paper 1s, by now everyone knows that multiple choice past papers is the way to go. Paper 1 past papers is the way to go. And you need to ensure that you're watching the past paper videos. Literally nobody has any excuse as to why they don't watch a past paper videos for paper one because you check YouTube you have find paper ones with teachers at work. You have find the amount of videos to biology, HSB, math, especially math paper ones like they find YouTube like crazy. Literally no one has any excuses as to why they are not doing paper ones, the practice papers for paper ones because literally questions repeat and students who have done exams over the years have Come to realize that one thing with CXC is the paper two don't repeat, the paper one are gonna repeat. And as I said before in previous videos, that when these when these questions repeat, it's not going to be like oh, you're gonna take questions from 2022 and just put back all of them on 2023. I put them the same 2023 and 2024. That's not how CXC does it. It's a question bank, and all literally questions can be chosen from any year into this new paper so it can be maybe the exam they take maybe 15 questions 15 questions maybe come from maybe 2010 and then you see three from 2020 three from 2021 2015 you see three and you realize oh these questions keep repeating so it's like literally a mash up or a blend up of these questions out of the cxc question pack and more than likely questions are going to repeat so for me now as I said before in my advice to you guys is that paper two is a, is basically the harder paper the more with the more challenge. So if you only want to really bust your brain on the paper two and not on the paper one so much, which is really to just ensure that you do past paper videos, past paper videos, past paper videos, just watch them, working on the questions, them answering the, the multiple choice of the paper ones, and then you'll be good for that aspect. As for the paper two, you will require studying. You will require studying because guess what? On the paper one, even if you necessarily you cannot work the question. For example, it's math, and you can't even work the question. 
it's multiple choice and you can pick an answer right you still have the option to pick an answer and it's a 50 50 chance that you may or may not pick the correct answer but on the paper too you have to actually work something you have to actually write something on that paper in order to pass that paper right you have to actually write something now that is why studying is so important especially beginning to study earlier if you're in grade 11 and you're doing nine plus subjects within a one year okay, grade 11 i have all of these subjects and you know that listen you have to go get that syllabus and especially the more subjects you're doing ensure that you start studying earlier do not wait until the last minute to just get up and swat something you put yourself in a so much problem especially if you're doing english you're doing maths you're doing sciences like subjects are very how should i say i don't want to say heavy content because basically all the cxe subjects would be considered heavy content but you know the subjects them that are usually more challenging i mean talk about maths english some people can't pass english multiple times so english maths like i'm talking about the core subjects maths english and the sciences those are the main one me i talk about the other subjects even if you don't know your mind can't guess and you know come on with the answer but with the sciences and with maths and with english is either you know or you don't know how to do it it's as simple as that in my opinion so guys you need to start studying early you need to practice your paper ones and for paper twos although it's not really likely that the paper two um questions are gonna repeat it's exact especially paper two questions now gonna repeat down to the t so you might even go to the exam and see a question similar to a past exam but for example if it's maths you're not going to see the same values repeat it might be the same type of question which which for example in mathematics situation if people actually really look into it with some of these paper tools the questions are literally always set up the same way that the structure of the paper is literally almost the same every year when i say the structure i'm talking about the type of questions or the format of the exam for example it's not biology chemistry physics you know that they love to include a graph so like certain things you're not supposed to go into the exam and completely frighten and completely clueless and i say oh i never know about this i never know about that you get me sir so certain things is expected like for me when me prepare for my science subjects back in the day me did know me go look up a graph biology chemistry physics me did do a graph on all three of them and it's like when you look at the past papers all of the past papers they did full up a graph so what made it very late you know me say so if interest to listen my graph shows them up coming know if me go expect one graph on the paper so those are the things that you students who are doing your exams in 2024 they take into consideration that listen look at these past papers look at them for the paper too see the trend of the papers and realize oh Realize them love, for example, this IT. You can say, oh, wait, they on this IT paper too. Them love put a programming question in the back. So you literally know the format of the paper. You might not know the exact question that they're going to ask, but you have an idea of what the question is about. So, for example, if you realize, say, all right, you know, so them always put this type of question, this type of question, this type of question, which basically the questions usually follow the sections of the syllabus. So now, people. Ensure that you actually look at your syllabus. Some people never see them syllabus in their life, and that's, that's, that's a really bad thing. Ensure that so when a teacher teach, especially when you're in grade 10, grade 11, when it really gets serious in a high school now, ensure that you have your syllabus. I used to always have all of my syllabus them download by my phone, and when I just pull up it and try to follow along with the teacher. And so if I see the teacher, I teach and realize, I mean, sometimes, you know, we can't forget, um, Remember what subject, but all I know is that I pull up the syllabus and me say, but wait, we mean a grade 11, and then as I realized the teacher never really reached far with me in the syllabus because when me pull up the syllabus, me as say one bag of something, but me no one not teaching at the class, and me say, but wait, me grade if exam if me never touch these things before. Okay, looking at your syllabus will let you know if you're ready for the exam yes or not. If you realize that oh, half of the syllabus you never see before, you're in grade 11, less than six months before exam. Then you know you're not a problem and you know you have to go burn some all-nighters and one bag of something in order to pass those exams literally the moral of the story ensure so you look at your syllabus so you know where you're at and know how you how much more you need to prepare because if it's a situation where you're in grade 11 and so for some reason the teacher never that teach or for example you don't have your teacher don't have enough time to cover that part of the syllabus it means that independent learning will have to start taking place you have got to take on the responsibility of go find a textbook 
googling youtube find the videos them finish the syllabus on your own if your teacher cannot do it or the school because some schools them not really allocate enough time especially for the science subjects usually the time for the labs them not even enough so like things like that restrictions like that so if you know that okay you don't have enough time and you really say you don't cover the syllabus you need to get started on it especially if the syllabus you know you know in a syllabus so at that point it would basically be your responsibility to get a hold of some materials whether it be a textbook whether it be youtube but you have got to find a way to finish the syllabus and ensure that you're prepared in time for your exam right and another um factor to kind of take into consideration when you're going into your exams is ensure that your sbs are done like the thing about it is that it's not wise to just say oh my god let's do what we can and the exam and the sb that makes no sense because the truth is that all of us are humans we make mistakes sometimes and sometimes the little marks we you need forget to that one lies in the sb so even though you do you do what you can on that um exam the exam you need the sba grade as well because literally somebody might go to the exam and they do exceptionally well on that exam and they end up with a grade three why them up with, why them end up with a grade three because they never have a sba or they never have a good sba so imagine you do a good SBA, first go to the exam, do what you can, do good, grade one that, grade one with distinction that. So just ensure so you're prepared guys, you start studying early, don't wait until last minute. If your teachers are having like workshops or anything like that, take part in them, go to workshop them, they might go charge you, yes, but make the sacrifice, especially if you know so you need it, make the sacrifice, go to workshops them to help you prepare for your safety exams. As I said before, ensure so you uh, follow your syllabus, ensure that you're completing your syllabus and that you're going to be ready for your exam. If you need um, videos um, basically for specific subjects, for example, biology, you know, you have um, CXC bio, bio aid, CXC bio aid, um, CXC biology TCP, you have a whole heap of social studies with stories. You have so many people on YouTube who, so many teachers on YouTube who have helped me when I was doing my exams and me turned out quite okay so you can do it you can search them up find them out if you need other advice or anything like that I have literally an entire playlist on my channel with CXC related videos how to prepare for English, Math, Social Studies, HSB, all of the biochemistry, physics, everything everything's on the channel so it's up to you guys to make use of your resources and prepare efficiently and prepare wisely for your exams. Uh, Alright, so guys, this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.